One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who can count how many times she hits the ball on her knees after the intro? over 500 likes we could do it five zero zero thumbs up right now let's get to this switch news dudes the first news item are we getting another nintendo switch model well According to new documents filed by the Federal Communications Commissions, otherwise known as the FCC, they filed a new model number for the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, a couple of things. I was told today that it's going to be probably some kind of development kit but uh, for developers, but part of me is saying... I'm scratching my head as to why that's the case. And the Nintendo Switch Lite is already having issues with Joy-Con drifting. And so nothing has been confirmed by Nintendo until Nintendo shows us something, says something. We see a new model number on the back of the Switch Lights. We have to wait and see what Nintendo does. But I guarantee this. Nintendo is working on a new model of the Switch Lite. If the Joy-Con drift problems are present in the Switch Lite, Nintendo is working on uh, a new model for the Switch Lite. And this is puzzling, bro. I'm surprised with all the Joy-Con issues Nintendo had with the OG Switch Joy-Cons why would they rinse and repeat and put the same mechanisms inside the Switch Lite? Nintendo's the king of handheld devices. And so I was surprised when so many people were reporting the same Joy-Con issues with the Switch Lite. So, time will tell, but FCC has officially filed. Nintendo has filed for a new version of the Nintendo Switch Lite already. Bro, the system's only been out for a couple weeks. Crazy. All right, next news item. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you try to go online, boop, you are hit with a notification that your Nintendo Switch needs to update. That's right. We've received a Ninten another Nintendo Switch update. It happened last night. Nintendo Switch firmware has been updated to version 9.0.1. <laughs> and whenever it's like a decimal point, especially a point zero point something, it's going to be very minor. And of course, this is a minor update. And it's just to improve system stability might be fixing some glitches behind the scenes that we may not know of also they usually do these firmware updates to prevent hacking like if a hacker has found some way to get behind the system whatever they do this to um, for anti-hacking measures and so your switch has been updated the next big update is going to be update 10 10.0 that's when we can expect achievements voice chat all the big shebang messaging all the crazy stuff what you want the gift that i always use when i talk about achievements okay since you asked for it we're beating the horse one more time <laughs> we're beating that dead horse all right next news item well i thought this was funny fifa 20 Legacy edition for the Nintendo Switch. First, the reviews have been horrible. 
No one is recommending the game. Everyone is saying, if you have FIFA 19 on the Switch, do not get 20. Oh, I have FIFA 19 on my Switch. I'm not picking up 20. I picked up FIFA 18 and 19. I'm good with um, 19. Any sponsors want to play me in FIFA, bring it on. But FIFA 20 right now on Metacritic is averaging 44 out of 100, which is horrible. But <laughs> that's not the funny part. <laughs> The funny part is this, Nintendo fans, y'all a bunch of G's, bro, bro, <laughs> the user score, <laughs> the user score right now on Metacritic is a 1, I have never seen a 1 on Metacritic, Nintendo fans are upset, why, they just rinse and repeat it, bro, the Xbox and PlayStation versions, Got the new Volta mode. That's like the new Streets mode, 3v3 soccer. And on the Switch, we got nothing. 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 The same game as last year. <laughs> and the user score tells it all. I thought that was hilarious. And so, FIFA 20 on the Switch, avoid it like the Black Plague. Now, I would recommend um, NBA 2K20 on the Switch. I ended up picking it up last night. And the game actually has improvements. I know the game launched with a bunch of glitches. I know a lot of dudes are like, oh, it's a whole bunch of microtransactions and all that. I like the gameplay. The gameplay, the core gameplay is still solid in NBA 2K20. Get that on the Switch. Don't buy FIFA. Save yourself some troubles. All right. Next news item. Speaking of the Switch Lite. Bad news, more bad news for the system. I mentioned Joy-Con drifting at the beginning of this video. And it's gotten so bad that the Switch Lite has been pulled into the Joy-Con drifting lawsuit. That's right. There is a clash action lawsuit against Nintendo for Joy-Con drifting uh, for the OG Switch models. And the issue has been pervasive enough for switch i've everybody i've talked to as a switch light have had no problems but if this system has been pulled into this lawsuit that means there are legitimate um problems with the system that people can verify and i'm actually looking at a video right now let me copy this video well, i'm not going to show the video but there is a video that is showing joy con drifting um on analog stick issues with the with the with the switch light so it is a legitimate problem with the switch light and nintendo's being sued we'll see what happens bro interesting stuff just wait till the news now <laughs> i was thinking about waiting and getting the pokemon switch light now i might just chill bro i'm good for now i'm not getting a switch light until a new model, until I know that a new model has come out and the Joy-Con drifting has been fixed. Forget that. Next news item. This isn't Nintendo related, but it is Nintendo related indirectly. Sean Layden, head of PlayStation's Game Studios. He has resigned from his position. This is coming courtesy of Kotaku. Sony has announced that Sean Layden, chairman of SIE Worldwide Studios, um, will be leaving the company. No reason has been given for his departure. I have some theories. I have some hypotheses. But nothing official. I have to say, bro, this has been Sony's worst year on the market. PlayStation 4 has been killing it. Every year, this generation, um, they, they've been the best-selling console this generation. You can't deny it. As much as I don't like Sony's first-party games, they have their issues. You can't argue against facts. And facts is, Sony has won this generation. Close to 100,000 PlayStation 4s. I think they're at about 95. 100 million. <laughs> they're at about 95 million. That's crazy, bro. It's took Microsoft's lunch money. The Switch is coming for them. Um, but Nintendo's on their own console cycle now. But I wonder if this has something to do with they canceled E3 this year. 
the first time PlayStation's not at E3, the last state of play was horrible. What I've been asking all year, what has Sony been doing all year, bro? Nothing. They must be gearing up for the PlayStation 5. There may be some conflict behind the scenes between the direction Sean Layden possibly wanted to go for the PlayStation 5 and maybe some of the Japanese or um, European Sony heads. I don't know what's going on, but he's gone, bro. Sudden, unexpected, but it's happened. And the last news item, a new trailer for Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Tokyo Games 2020 has dropped. And I have to admit, this game has piqued my interest now. I found out today it has online multiplayer with friends. This game could be what Mario Party should have been for Switch owners. And so I would be hyped to play like rugby, soccer, all of these. And most of the games are available for online with friends. So I'm probably going to be picking this up for myself and my kids and any of the homies who have the game. I will play it with you dudes. All right. Those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Genesis does. You gotta do it on Nintendo now because you don't have a console. Ha!